Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I've got a weird one. <laughs> I said, which of the following is the best way to set up the expression 76 uh, plus, and now most of you guys read that as 0.55, but actually I would read that as 55 hundredths in order to perform the addition algorithm. Uh, justify your answer. So I have a whole lot of students who line this problem up wrong. The most common error that students make when adding and subtracting decimals is doing something like this. Uh, the first um, lineup that I have here. Now, when you line up this expression, uh, as I did over here on the left, you will get a nonsense answer, an answer that just is not true and doesn't make sense mathematically. And there's a real reason for that. There's a reason for that. Here's the reason. Here's the most important thing that you need to understand about addition and subtraction for, for this problem and for every problem. I don't care if I'm adding and subtracting uh, whole numbers, decimals, fractions in a word problem um, in algebra with those crazy like terms that we learn about. Anytime you're adding forever and ever, amen, it's super important to know that you can only add and subtract the same kinds of things. The same kinds of things. Okay, now what am I saying? Because you're like, well, come on, really? This is a number and a number. I'm adding and subtracting the same kinds of things. And yes, kind of. They're kind of a number and a number, but think about it. Um, like, for example, if I just bust out the number 333, three, three. now there's a number that's made of three digits, uh, three individual number symbols. Now the digit was the same in each one, a three, three, and a three. And yet these threes are very different. Each one of them is worth more or less than the other. Let's take a look at this first three. This first three is in the ones place, uh, meaning that it's worth three times as, or oh, I'm sorry, can I start again? It's in the ones place, meaning that it's worth the same as three ones, like three $1 bills. Uh, this three, on the other hand, is a much more valuable three. How much more valuable? In fact, it's 10 times as valuable uh, because that three is in the tens place. It's worth 10 ones. Okay, so a three there is worth 10 times as much as a three in the other place. Same thing with the three here. It's worth 10 times as much as the three before it. It's in the hundreds place, and so it is worth 300. Okay, knowing that these threes, even though they look the same, are actually different types of things, three ones, three tens, three hundreds, allows us to see the proper way to line up this, and it's not like that on the right. What you need to do is make sure that your ones line up with your ones, and your tens with your tens. Now, take a look at this number. This number doesn't have a decimal place, so obviously that's in the ones, and that's in the tens. Now, take a look at this number over here. It does have a decimal place. Okay, so our usual counting system moves uh, for place value, moves left of the decimal, so this would be the ones place. I don't have anything in the tens place uh, or beyond, but I do have some things uh, in decimalville, and they kind of mirror. This is tenths, th, and hundredths. So the only two things these two numbers shares is the ones place. That's in the ones place, that's in the ones place. So that is where I would want to line things up. The six in the ones place with the zero in the ones place. And now I'm going to go ahead and add. Now you might be saying to me, Kate, but what's over here back behind 76? Well, there's nothing. Uh, we don't have any numbers past the decimal place, so it's like I have... I'm having all kinds of technical issues this video, you lucky things. So it's like I have a zero tenths and I have zero hundredths. Uh, but when you add with zero, nothing happens. So zero plus five is five, zero plus five is five, six plus zero is six, and a seven plus nothing in that column is 76. Uh, and I say this answer makes perfect sense, guys. $76.55 would be $76.55. <laughs> All right. Um, so which one of these was lined up correctly? Obviously, it was the expression on the right hand side, even though it might look funny to you uh, because it seems off center. It was definitely lined up correctly. Why? Why is that? Because when we add and subtract, we need to make sure that our place values align. 
All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer it.